dear students in this lecture we are going to discuss one of the most important topics of english literature that is shakespearean sonnets before we begin with these shakespearean sonnets we need to understand what a sonnet is a sonnet is a poem of 14 lines generally the sonnets are written in 14 lines second these sonnets are written in iambic pentameter again i will put the word generally because it's not necessary that these sonnets are written in iambic pentameter but most of the english sonnets these are written in iambic pentameter means every line has 10 syllables and these go on like this stressed unstressed stressed unstressed stressed unstressed now the third most important thing about these sonnets is volta uh generally these sonnets these have a problem and then there is a solution means there are questions and then there are the answers so when the poet moves from questions to answers or the poet moves from problems to solutions there there is a line that line is called volta or that transition is called volta or the digression or that movement is called volta so this generally occurs in ninth line in the first eight lines means the octave the poet talks about the uh, problem and then in the second part says state the poet talks about uh, the solution and this the ninth line is generally the volta from where this uh, transition takes place next we move on to the types of sonnets there are generally six types of sonnets the important sonnets first are the italian sonnets these were written by petrarch these sonnets were very important because petrarch is the one who brought this sonnet tradition and he wrote them in italian language and the rhyme scheme which he followed was a b b a a b b a c d c d c d that means he followed that tradition or he am evolved that tradition of writing sonnets in octave and sestet so first was the octave which has this rhyme scheme a b b a a b b a and then there is the sestet which has this rhyme scheme c d c d c d or c d e d c e so he wrote them in octave and sestet form and then there came william shakespeare he followed petrarchan sonnets he wrote them in iambic pentameter but he followed the rhyme scheme a b a b c d c d e f e f g g so it's quite clear from this rhyme scheme that he didn't follow that tradition of octave and sestet rather he wrote them in three quatrains and one couplet so his sonnets these are in three quatrains and one couplet the three quatrains are a b a b c d c d e f e f and the third and the last couplet is g g now if we talk about volta here means from where he starts telling the solution he starts telling us the solution in the uh, in the ninth line but generally his solution is in the last couplet is in the last two lines so the solution is there but it's in the last two lines so the couplet tells us about the solution so this is the difference between italian poet petrarch and william shakespeare then edmund spenser he wrote sonnets and uh, amoretti this is again a very famous work written by Ed, uh, edmund spenser and here he is writing the sonnets and he followed the tradition of william shakespeare he wrote the sonnets in three quatrains and one couplet his rhyme scheme is a b a b b c b c c d c d and e e next is john milton john milton he also wrote uh, he also wrote sonnets but he followed italian poet petrarch and he wrote the sonnets in petrarchan model and he followed that octave and quat uh, octave and uh, uh, this uh, sestet uh, sestet so he wrote them in this way next are the curtil sonnets these are the sonnets which are written in 10 and a half lines these are not written in 14 lines earlier shakespeare italian sonnets and all the spencer and milton and even wordsworth also wrote sonnets uh, he wrote the world is too much with us that the, those sonnets were written in 14 lines but these curtil sonnets popularized by g m hopkins these were written in 10 and a half lines and the rhyme scheme was a b c a b c d b e d e and then there is one half of line so these are the various types of sonnets now we move on to shakespearean sonnets these shakespearean sonnets these were written somewhere between 1590 to 1600 but 
it was thomas thorp who published these sonnets in 1609 these sonnets were dedicated to mr wh we even don't know who dedicated these sonnets to mr wh whether it was thomas thorp or william shakespeare himself but in the book it is quite clear it is clearly mentioned that these sonnets are dedicated to mr wh next are the characters of these sonnets there are three important characters in these sonnets the first is the fair youth Uh, Shakespeare he talks about the sphere youth from sonnet number 1 to sonnet number 126 Shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets in this collection and out of these 154 sonnets sonnet number 1 to 126 these are uh, these are dedicated to one fair youth we don't know who is this fair youth we don't know uh, whether this fair youth is an imaginary character or he is the real one but shakespeare has dedicated or he is talking about or he is he is addressing this fair youth uh, in uh, sonnet number 1 to 126 in first 17 sonnets means the sonnet number 1 to 17 he is talking about this fair youth and he is asking them to settle in his life and he is asking them to get marry but in uh, but from sonnet number uh, 18 to 126 there appears to be a sort of love for this fair youth gender is also not very clear and it's not very clear um, whether this is a homoeroticism eroticism type or what kind of love it is so uh, there the, the friendship is not very clear then after that uh means from sonnet number 127 to 154 shakespeare talks about a dark lady this dark lady is also unknown figure uh, she may be a real character or she may be an imaginary one these sonnets are of serious type and these talk about the dark lady and these talk about the speaker who is ashamed and guilty so these these are a bit difficult one to understand and these are complicated sonnets are the rival poets we don't know who are these rival poets so these may be the competitors of shakespeare then these are the varied themes in shakespeare's uh, sonnets he is talking about lust he is talking about time jealousy love mortality beauty infidelity and then there is homoeroticism as i talked about in the previous slide uh, that uh, there is homoeroticism kind of thing between the poet or the speaker or and the uh, fair youth there are few sonnets which are found in his plays also these are different kinds of sonnets these are satirical in tone or these may be uh, the these may be written for the purpose of narratives but these sonnets are quite different these are not the love sonnets as the love sonnets we find in this collection uh, which has 1 to 154 sonnets so these are in two gentlemen of verona in much ado about nothing the loves labor lost and then all's will that ends well there are few exceptions in his sonnets sonnet number 99 this has 15 lines not 14 lines then the sonnet number 126 this has six couplets and two blank lines so this is six couplets and then two blank lines means it doesn't follow that structure of uh, quatrains and the couplet then there is sonnet number 145 which is written in iambic tetrameter not in iambic pentameter then there is sonnet number 29 which doesn't follow the rhyme scheme which uh, shakespeare popularized there are certain unknown facts when these sonnets were written we don't know these may be written somewhere between 1590 to 1600 though these were published in 1609 by thomas thorp then the titles there is nothing about the titles of these sonnets every poem has a title but these sonnets are without titles these are known by their numbers or these are known by the first lines then who is the speaker whether the shakespeare whether this shakespeare himself he was the speaker or there is some imagined character or imagined figure an imaginary figure for whom these sonnets are written these may be written for somebody who is very close to shakespeare or these may not be written for anyone because Uh, shakespeare didn't get them published he didn't write them for getting them published uh, so these may not be written for anyone or shakespeare wrote them uh, wrote them for himself only so it's not clear for whom these sonnets were written rather for 200 years these sonnets were not very popular so i hope this uh, shakespearean sonnets are quite clear to you thank you very much